Ok, well, buenos días, es eh, julio 8, 8.47 de la mañana y la razón por la cual estoy grabando es porque vamos a hacer una llamada al seguro <coughs> y les vamos a decir que por qué están utilizando nuestro nombre de una forma corporativa ya nos han mandado una carta por escrito diciendo que lo sienten mucho pero que su sistema no tiene la forma de corregirlo eso es evidencia forénsica de que nos han estado dañando entonces se le ha pedido de la manera más atenta que lo corrija con el proper name case y ahorita vamos a hacer un reclamo por uh, false advertisement of a corporate name que sería anunciando falsamente que eres una corporación que tu nombre es una corporación entonces vamos a marcar, lo voy a poner aquí y por la razón que estoy grabando es porque todo esto va a ser forensia, forensic evidence de que estamos haciendo un reclamo sobre este seguro, sobre esta póliza, es Allstate, su seguro y ellos lo hacen siempre, periódicamente si tú vas y compras seguro, pues sabes que te acaban de hacer millonario Así de fácil. Si tú ves que te pone tu nombre con mayúsculas, déjalo. Ya tienes la, for la evidencia forénsica. ¿sí? Vamos a ver entonces. 505. 891. <coughs> ah. Así en bocina. Thank you for calling Allstate the Burger Agency. This is Suzanne. How can I put a smile on your face today? Uh, good morning, Suzanne. This is Jesus Arriaga. Hi. Hi, I am calling to make a claim. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Is it, is it an accident? Or Well, here I will explain to you briefly and I will like for you to take note of the following statement. Well, I don't need to have the statement. You need to give that to the claims department. Okay? Oh, well, okay. Now, so, where, is, where is that claims department? Um, I can file the claim and then they will reach out to you within the next 24 to 48 hours. Oh, okay. It's um, a phone call that will happen. Okay, well, sounds fair. Can we start? Okay. Can we start? Okay, so let's go ahead and get everything pulled up. And what was your last name, I'm sorry? Well, the last name is Abonce, okay? However, you don't have it in your, in your uh, documentation. And this is what necessitated the phone call, okay? The policy is under Jesus Arriaga, J-E-S-U-S. Arriaga, A-R-R-I-A-G-A. -A. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm sorry about and that. That's okay. Um, so, in what relation do you have? And what, what relation do I have in, uh, in, in regard to what? To Jesus. Well... I am speaking. I am calling in order to let you know there is a mistake on writing the name properly on the policy. Oh, okay. Okay. And so what is your address? The address is going to be 1989 Maestas Drive, Los Lunas, New Mexico. Okay. That's not the address I have. Hold on, let me just... 1989 Maestas Drive, Los Lunas, New Mexico. What is the address that you have on file, please? Um, so do you have a policy number? Absolutely. Maybe I... Yes, ma'am. No, well, okay, yes. exactly. well, here is one thing, okay? My policy, you have it in your system. I don't have it in front of me and for right this minute. But I in my in uh, this is this is what I thought with my name and the date of birth and the address. Perhaps you can pull the right account. Okay, so the date of birth um, I can't pull anything up. So let me try by 
phone number. Do you know the phone <coughs> number that's associated with this policy? You know that that is going to be a catch-20. This account has been set up for the for how long? You can't see it? I can't get to your cell, oh, wow. I can't find <coughs> You are not able to pull my account. Is that what you is that what you are saying? That you are not able to pull my account under the information that I have given you? Yes, because oh, the address okay. is not the same address. So what address do uh, you have? What address do you have? We've got a deer trail. Oh wow. Deer trail? Yes. Well certainly is the wrong address. Certainly. Okay, the name is J-E-S-U-S, -S, proper name case, A-R-R-I-A-G-A, A-B-O-N-C-E, and the first letter of the name is J dot, J dot, and then J-E-S-U-S. <clears throat> Yeah, right. You just send me a paper. Let me see. I need to find this thing. All Okay, I got it, I got it. Policy number, zero, four, okay. four, five, Hold six. Hold on, let me... Zero, four. Zero, four, four. Five, six, four. Five, four, three. <clears throat> How does it come out? It's a home policy. Am I correct? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now okay. let me let me ask you something. Are you are you the same company who sold me the insurance of title? Am I, are we the same company that sold you what? I'm sorry. The insurance of title on this property. Um. Yes. Oh. So okay. it looks like yes. You're insured with Jalen Berger. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Then I need to file two claims. Okay. Okay. You you want to start with the first one now? Um, and this is on the homeowners? Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't be in okay. any other policy, could it? Could it be in any other policy? Is that what you're implying? And why do you need to file two claims? Well, I will go on to the detail if you allow me. Okay, the first one is going to be that I need to file a claim under the title insurance. As you probably know, the property is in foreclosure. I purchased the property, I pay for the insurance of title, and I was guaranteed that the title was free and clear. However, all these years later, I am having somebody who has placed my property for sale. And I want you to intervene on it because you guarantee the title was free and clear at the time I purchased the insurance. And now, I have the contrary happening. So I want to know who is right, and how this thugs got ownership of my property, since when, how did they obtain it, and why my insurance overlooked this phenomenon that I'm finding out all these years later. <clears throat> okay, so when you purchase homeowner's insurance, we don't investigate to see that you're the owner. Oh, is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? You don't investigate? Um, why don't I let the agency owner give you a call back? No, ma'am. Ma'am, I don't have time for this, okay? You are not going to hang up. I am filing a claim. If you file a claim, you'll be discriminating against someone who is called to make a claim. 
If you hang up on this call, I will make you liable for $50 million. Do I make myself clear? I don't think you have the right to preclude anyone from filing a claim, okay? This is the bottom line. I purchased for the insurance. <clears throat> I purchased the insurance where the property was guaranteed to be free and clear of encumbrances. So you're saying and that when you purchase the insurance with us that we promised you that the property was free and clear? Well, that's insurance of title. How do you describe the function, ma'am? How do you describe the function of checking someone's title, title prior purchase, the purchase, to ensure that the title is free and clear? I was promised that under the policy I have is on the record, and I am calling to make a claim. Since you probably uh, opened this account, you sold insurance of title. You ensure the title to be free and clear, and we have a case where this property is being sold by HUD. <clears throat> and I just contact you to make a claim. You're supposed to intervene. I want to make a claim. And, and if you deny the claim, and then I will make you liable, and all state will be liable for $50 million. <clears throat> And I want you to know that I'm recording this call for the purpose of keeping every single piece of information on the record. Okay, hold on just a minute, okay? Thank you very much. You're welcome. <clears throat> Help protect the place you and your family love to call home with Allstate Home Insurance. Your Allstate agent can help you get the coverage you need to protect what matters most. So talk to your Allstate agent here at the Burger Agency about home insurance today. <laughs> Thank you for holding. We appreciate your patience and will return to your call shortly. Nobody expects the unexpected. But that doesn't mean you can't be prepared for it. Your local expert Allstate agent can help you put a plan in place to help protect your car, home, identity, and a whole lot more. With your local Allstate agent here at the Burger Agency, it's good to be in good hands. Thank you for calling Allstate, the Burger Agency. We are located at 4100 Southern Boulevard, Southeast. Suite 3C in Rio Rancho at the intersection of Southern Boulevard and Highway 528. We are here to serve you Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., Saturdays and evenings by appointment. Thank you for holding. We will be with you in a moment. Most life insurance policies pay out a lump sum, but it is hard to know if that money will be enough to last. That's why Allstate offers monthly income term life insurance, which pays out like a monthly paycheck. So your family can afford the things that matter most. When we return, ask your Allstate personal financial representative, Kaysen or Dennis, for a quote. Thank you for calling Allstate. We'll be with you in just a moment. Hello? Hi. Yes. Jaylene just, Jaylene just walked in the door and she's logging onto her computer and she will be right with you, okay? Absolutely. Uh, please state your full name for the, your full given name for the record. Work after you retire doesn't sound good to us. That's why Allstate offers a full range of financial solutions yeah. from some of the industry's most respected companies, such as Equitable, well, let the record reflect that we requested her full given name for the record, and she just didn't do it.
calling Allstate, the Burger Agency. We are located at 4100 Southern Boulevard, Southeast, Suite 3C in Rio Rancho, at the intersection of Southern Boulevard and Highway 528. We are here to serve you Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., Saturdays and evenings by appointment. Thank you for holding. We will be with you in a moment. pay from Allstate, we can pay your auto claim at about the time it takes to order a coffee. That means no more paying for repairs yourself while you wait by the mailbox for a check to arrive. Ask your agent here at the Burger Agency about quick card pay when they come on the line. Thank you for holding. We appreciate your patience and will return to your call shortly. There are so many questions to consider when choosing the right auto insurance. Liability coverage? Comprehensive? Rental coverage? How much coverage is enough? Your Allstate agent can help you make sure you're getting the protection that is right for you. When it comes to helping you determine your auto insurance needs, you... Good morning, this is Jeline. Good morning, uh, Jaylene Berger, for the record, please state your full given name. I just did. Is that your full given name, ma'am? Sir, I will help you, but you're not going to tell me what I need to do. Well, I want it for the record. May I have that information? No, you may not. Uh, I may not? Yeah, that's your final answer? That's my final answer. Okay, under what grounds? Do I may not. Well, I... I uh, 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 did, did you speak? Did you speak to your associate briefly? Uh, very briefly. Okay. If you would like to turn in a claim, Absolutely. Uh, I, I am here to do that for you. Okay. Well, I want to file a claim <clears throat> for the Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga Abonse. Can you give me the date of loss, please? It's happening as we speak. Today, today, okay, you, you can put today, okay, put today, okay. and then make, and then make sure that you happen, that you make a note that it is currently sustaining the injury. I'm sorry, I didn't understand you. Make a note that what? Make a note that the claimant is currently sustaining the injury. Sustaining an injury? Sustaining the, the, T-H-A. Injury. Okay, I'm sorry. You're, you're, uh, <clears throat> I have a hard time understanding your aspect sometimes. So, what time did it happen approximately? It's happening right now, ma'am. I, I, if you allow okay, me, so if you, you please give me a time for my report. Well, you can use this time. Which time? This time. Let me see. What time is it? Yeah. It's uh, 9.05 and, and 50 seconds a.m. Very good. Okay, got it. Okay. Let me continue on. I'm just following some screens here. So as they load, I'll be asking you some questions to set up the claim for you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. The zip code is X X X X X nine nine dash nine eight. Okay. So in our records, the zip code is eight seven zero three one dash nine one four five because our computer is not set up to handle your exit. Well, please make a note that I am declining the 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 that I live under that zip code. Certified papers, and as 
I have told you, as well as our customer escalation team, that we have no way of changing that. So you can make all the notes that you want to, okay? Okay, that's, that's your final answer. Please make the note. Thank you very much. Excuse me? Yes, no. Excuse me? Was the, was the loss caused by something or someone other than an insured? Other than an insured. What do you refer to that? Are you insured? No, I'm asking you the loss that you have sustained, that you are reporting, was it caused by something or someone other than you or your wife? Well, absolutely. Other than me and my wife? Well, yeah. And was the police and or fire department called? No, not at this point. <clears throat> okay, that's all I need. Thank you. But I'm about to make a phone call. Well, absolutely. I am. I am. Uh, I am. Um, in okay, full. So and you can do whatever you would like to do. That's information I do not need to know. So. I thought you just asked me if I filed a police report. Yes, and you told me no, and that's how I answered. Well, yeah, I am filing. This is about five court cases, ma'am. Where you insure the title, you insure my title. You sold in all state. Sold. Hey, hold on, sold hold on. insurance of title. Slow down. Can you, so get, can you please slow you, down with your, with your talking for me? Do you speak English? I do. Okay. And so do you, but you speak it with a very hard accent, and my ear is not attuned to that. So I'm just asking you to slow down so I can, so that I do not misunderstand what you're telling me. Okay. Is, so. is that fair? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's against my accent. It's discriminatory against my accent. For the, for the record. I'm sorry? It's discriminatory against my accent for the record. I'm sorry, I did not understand what you said once again. <clears throat> There's something in your accent that I'm not understanding. I'm not, I'm not slighting you for that. I just don't understand, and I want to be able to understand what you're saying. So if you could please slow down so that I can 100% thoroughly understand you, I'd like to do that so I can assist you. Okay. So what were you saying? In regard to what, ma'am? Whatever the last sentences you were trying to say to me that I did not understand. I told you twice to, that I did not understand. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to go slow. All state insurance. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. All, all state insurance company sold insurance of title. To the Honorable Jota Jesus Arriaga Avonce. This property where the title was insured by Allstate is currently being placed on the market by HUD. HUD has no jurisdiction on this and you guarantee that the title, uh, all state insurance guarantee the title to be free and clear for the transaction of the sale of the real estate property, took place in 1991, and you sold and affirmed that the title was clear. However, I have forensic evidence, there is forensic evidence that someone else is claiming interest on the real title of the property located at 1989 Maestas Drive, Los Lunas, New Mexico. Um, and I need to file a claim. And you should have to go out there and investigate these people. How is it that they acquire their 
uh, their, 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 their interest on the title when it was searched by Allstate and Allstate found out that it was free and clear. So the sale took place under that insurance. I'm finding different. The Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga filed a claim so on this. May, may, the, I finish? The, the may, may, I, may, may I finish? May I finish? May I finish? I don't appreciate being interrupted. I, may I finish? Yes, file, sir, I file, files a claim on this eighth day of June of the year 2020, approximately at 9.13 with 12 seconds. Um, for the Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga Avonce reserved the right to protect his protective rights and proceed accordingly against all trespassers. Uh, did you mention you received my certified letter? I did. Okay, well, let the record reflect that Allstate has received Allstate and Jailene Berger agency owner at 117 Rio Rancho number 28 Rio Rancho New Mexico 87124 has received the letter the claim that is a certified mail and the Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga Abonce is hereby filing a claim for the insurance of title Is, um, do you have a question at this point? I do. So, okay. so the injury that you're wanting me to report is that you're being injured because of the, the uh, guarantee of your title on your house. Is that correct? Yes. For the Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga Abonce Purchase Insurance of Title. And some 30 years later, 30 years, I think it's 30 years. Um, I need to I need to make sure because this policy wasn't I open and I purchased this property on 1991. And this is 2000. So, you know, this is 2020. So if we do the math, we can see how old is this policy? How old is this being guaranteed for that it was clear and free? of any encumbrances. However, I add for the Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga hereby informs the Honorable Jailin Berger that a claim of foreclosure has been filed in the property in question 1989 Maestas Drive, Los Lunas, New Mexico, which was insured on the title by all state policy number 04456453. And now I am requesting, the Honorable is requesting that the insurance honor the title to be free and clear or intervene. To the contrary, the Honorable files a claim for $50 million on lawful money minted by the dread. United States Treasury, no Federal Reserve allowed, accepted, no credit cards accepted, uh, hello? I'm and, letting and you finish, sir, because you accused me of interrupting you previously. Yeah, Are you finished yeah. now? I am, so I, I, am, I am, I am, I uh, am on, 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 on continuance to talking. I am filing the claim. The Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga is filing a claim. Uh, do I, is that clear? I understand that you want to file a claim with guarantee of title because all state has had your policy on your house, correct? Because all state sold the Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga Abonce the policy of insurance of title, affirming the title was free and clear from any encumbrances, and the transaction was ready to proceed. However, 
All this time later, I have HUD placing this property 1989 Maestas Drive on the market. And I want to solicit the intervention of the insurance and to file the claim under the damage under, under court martial rule 203 jurisdiction over the offense. And I want to and I want to advise you that this conversation is being recorded for the purpose of accuracy. No problem. So I have a question for you. Since it's being recorded, have you read your insurance policy, sir? Who do you refer when you say the, the word you? Have you read your insurance policy? May I ask who? Is the Honorable Jaylene Berger referring when she mentions the word you? The word you is not the Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga Abonce. So please refrain from addressing the Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga Abonce by the pseudonym you. So I will take that as you do not want to answer my question because I'm not going to use the terms that you are telling me to use because I do not have to by law. So I think that this is complete. I will type in your claim and it will be set up and all state will be contacting. You mentioned, you mentioned the word by law. Can you please be specific in regard to which law? Again, you mentioned the word law, but one Jailene Berger is requested by the Honorable J. Jesus Arriaga to explain under which law you cannot or you yes. are not proceeding. I have to turn the claim in because your insurance policy, when I asked you if you had read it and you have refused to answer that question. I, I, I read it. I, I read it. Me. I read you, it. You I have read the pro the Are policy. I have read. I have read. You asked me not to interrupt you, so you give me the same privilege, sir. Absolutely. Is Go that ahead. Understood? Go ahead. In the insurance policy, if you have read it from cover to cover, it does not cover anything with title. But I am not going to make that decision. I have agreed to turn in the claim for you based on exactly how you have told me to do so, and that is being completed right now, and all state will contact you. Is do you understand? No, I don't understand. I don't understand. I want you, uh, for the honorable, and I please, I want you to write this statement, okay, for the honorable. No, I will not. You do not tell me what to do. Well, I am Rick. I'm, I'm going to discontinue this phone call. I turned in the claim for you. Ma'am, please. I have listened to everything that you have said, and I have done as you have requested. I am requesting the language the policy is written on. Well, there is forensic evidence. This is how they treat you when it comes to a claim, and this is going on Facebook. So I'm going to sign, uh, I'm going to stop for a minute while I figure this out. And then uh, let the record reflect that this video is 33 minutes and 49 seconds, ending on June 8th at 9.21 with 27 seconds. This is forensic evidence of the, of the claim file. Thank you. We'll see you.